What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Celio's Network. Today, I am very excited to show you my first breakthrough through Crimson Invasion standard format decklist, Buzzwall Garbodor. So, I think this list, this archetype, um, a lot of competitive players know that it's going to be an archetype. I think it's going to change. It's not always going to stay at what it is right now, what you see on the screen. This is a very simple build. It's... um. Really similar to Drampa Garb, the build, except we took out Double Colorless and Psychic. We put in Strong and Fighting. Um, I put in Acerola because Buzzwell is really good to just hit a couple times with its attack. Uh, Jet Punch, 30 and 30, or 50 and 30, depending on the uh, Strong Energy. Um, and then after it gets hit, Acerola, just reset it up for one energy, and then continue hitting. So, um, you're probably going to see a lot of these lists, and a lot of them are probably going to look really similar. Um, I think it's a, a fairly easy deck to build. You could go the route of not playing Trash Alance Garb, and maybe play some Zygarde, maybe Regirock, focus on the whole fighting type thing. But I think Trash Alance is really great to have, even though you only have Rainbow Energy to attack with it. You want to be hitting opposing Buzzwolves for weakness, and you want to be hitting... Psychic Pokemon that are hitting your Buzzwool for weakness, you want to hit them for weakness too. <clears throat> so let's get into the deck. We've got three Buzzwool GX. I have two different arts, but three Buzzwool GX. So this guy's a monster. 190 HP fighting type, so it gets the benefit of strong energy. Weak to Psychic. Um, so it is weak to Espeon and Garbodor. Um, those are the two big things I can think of that it's weak to. Uh, it's weak to Nihilego, but I don't think many people will be attacking with that. Uh, it's weak to the Mew from Fates Collide that copies a basic attack. Um, so yeah, a couple important things that it's weak to, but we have Trash Lance Garb to hit back those things for weakness. So, Buzzwell GX. The attack that makes this really great is Jet Punch. 30 to the active and 30 to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. This is reminiscent of Landorus EX from a few formats ago that was the same fighting type EX that hit 30 and 30. Um, so people are going to love this card just for the nostalgia purposes. Landorus was paired with Garbotoxin Guard because that card's been around for too long. Um, and so you would just spread damage while Garbatoxin was on the bench locking abilities, then clean up with Mute 2 or something like that, or just clean up with the Landorus with a lot of energy. This uh, this Pokemon also, like Landorus, has um, three fighting energy attacks in Knuckle Impact and Absorption GX. So Knuckle Impact does 160 for three fighting. This Pokemon can't attack during your next turn. <sighs> Excuse me, still early. <clears throat> Um, so this Pokemon can't attack during your next turn. Uh, Knuckle Impact 160 will probably be doing more like 180 or 200 because of Strong Energy than an extra 10 because of Fighting Fury Belt. Um, so that's pretty good. It's probably, it's gonna probably get you a one-hit KO on most things. Um, Absorption GX does 40 for each of your remaining prize cards, so if it's still pretty early, you're gonna get a knockout with that and this is your gx attack of the deck unless you end up using tapu cure which i could see being useful every now and then so jet punch 30 um 30 is relevant because a strong energy makes it 50 a fighting fury belt makes it 60 and that means you're koing ralts you're koing volpix you're koing zarua um you're koing beldum you're koing a lot of these basic um these basic Pokemon that evolve into more important Pokemon. You're not killing Wimpod and you're not killing Trubbish, um, but you are, like I said, Ralts, Volpix, um, Remoraid, Zerua, a lot of basic Pokemon that we see on our first turns of the game. And then we're doing 30 to a bench Pokemon as well. So we're playing this, we're, uh, this spread mechanic with... Um, Espeon, like we've been seeing a lot in the standard format to devolve each of your opponent's evolved Pokemon. I chose not to include Shining Jirachi in this deck because we're only playing four Rainbow Energy. Um, we won't hit it all the time when we need it. Something like Garbodor where we need the Rainbow Energy for. Garbodor can just kind of chill on the bench and we'll use it when we can. But Shining Jirachi, you kind of need it in a pinch. And I'm not sure if I want to rely on only four Rainbow Energy. But I may end up testing it out. We'll see. 
Um, then we're playing three Lele, which is pretty standard. Um, four Trubbish with Acid Spray, because it's the best Trubbish in standard. Two Garbotoxin Garbodors to lock abilities. Something that's really nice about Garbotoxin being with Buzzwool is that if your opponent has a Mr. Mime that stops bench damage, we can turn off that ability with Garbotoxin and continue to deal bench damage. And then we have two Trashalance Garb as our backup attacker. This attack does 20 damage for each item card in your opponent's discard pile. I'm sure you guys all know about this. It's been dominating the format ever since it came out. Great attack. It's just super, super powerful and makes your opponent play a little slower. So those are all the Pokemon. It's I, Like I said, I think it's a pretty simple list. Um, we'll go through the trainers real quick. We've got one Field Blower. Um... Possibly a second one can be included to get rid of Fighting Fury Belts, maybe some Choice Bands, but one will be okay for now. We also have our own stadium to counter other stadiums with. Um, one Rescue Stretcher to get back a Buzzwall in a pinch, or maybe the Garbador we're using more in that matchup. Maybe if um, Espeon gets knocked out. <sighs> Excuse me. <sighs> Excuse me. So maybe if Espeon gets knocked down, we want to use it again. Rescue Stretcher's there. I am playing a special charge in this deck, so that's a little different than most Garbodor-based decks. But we're playing four Strong Energy, four Rainbow Energy. Um, I think it's going to be important to get the Strong Energy back, so I want to. I'm testing out Special Charge. I think I'm going to like it. Um, four Ultra Ball, pretty standard. Four Po Town to get that extra damage on your opponent's evolution Pokemon. Two Acerola, so we can pick up Buzzwool when it's damaged and just place it back down and start going to town with Jet Punch again. One Bridget to set up our bench. Three Guzma, because Guzma's a great card and we want to hit our opponent's bench Pokemon that they're trying to protect on the bench. Four N and four Sycamore, pretty standard. Four Fighting Fury Belt, so we're always hitting with extra damage with Buzzwall, and he always has extra HP. And four Float Stones, so we can always use, so we can always activate our Garbor Toxin ability when we want to. Then we're rounding this out with 12 Energy, four Strong Energy. If you don't know what that does, when it's attached to a Fighting Pokemon, which is all it can be attached to, it provides a Fighting Energy, and your Fighting Pokemon attack do 20 more damage so that's what i was talking about where jet punch will do 50 or 60 with a fighting fury belt and then we have four fighting energy so all of our energy can count as a fighting energy because we want to attack with buzzwool as early as possible so like i said this is a pretty simple um deck list i think it's very very basic there's no text really everything that's in here is pretty pertinent to the deck except for maybe special charge that could probably go and acerola um that acerola and special charge are just my preference that i want in the deck for now but i think this list will evolve a little bit i'll keep you guys updated as i change it um some of the projected matchups uh gardevoir is um positive you can spread damage and devolve. You put Po Town down. You Garbotoxin. Um, you have a lot going for you in that matchup. Um, you have you're favorable against Zorark based decks because you're hitting Zorark for weakness. Um, Drampa Garb. You hit their Drampas for weakness, but their Garbs hit you for weakness. But you hit their Garbs back for weakness, and their Garbs hit you back for weakness. So Drampa Garb might be um, in the gray area. That one might be a little weird, but you are hitting their two prizers for weakness while they're hitting your two prizers for weakness. So that one's probably going to be a little iffy. Um, Galissapod Garbador is probably a 50 50 because while you can spread and devolve, um, they can just Acerola their main, their main Galissapod every turn. Um, but I think that one's going to be a fun matchup. I haven't tested Galissapod Garb yet against this, so that one will probably be fun. Um, but. The main thing you want to you want in your deck when you're picking out a deck that's not Gardevoir in this format, I feel like you need to say to yourself, "Well, does this deck have a chance against Garbodor?" And if yes, then continue with testing that deck. If that deck is 50/50 or even favorable against Garbodor, uh, I'm sorry, Gardevoir, um, you probably want to continue testing that deck out. And if it's favorable against some of the rest of the format, you probably have a tier 2 or tier 1 deck on your hands. So, this is favorable against Gardevoir. 
Um, I think it's 50-50 against Drampa Garb, but I'm not certain on that yet. Um, but just having a chance, at least, against both of those decks that are Tier 1 and being good against other decks in the format uh, makes this a viable competitive deck. So, I hope you guys will try this deck out. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm really excited about Buzzwall. I'm going to be playing a lot of decks with it. Um, in the link of this video, since today is the release of Crimson Invasion, you'll see my second video that I'm posting today is a PTCGO battle with this exact list. So both of these videos will probably be going up at around the same time. So you can just click, click on the link in the description and if you want to see me playing on PTCGO with this deck. So thank you for watching, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time here on Celio's Network.